Asylum seekers are struggling more than most during the pandemic as Victorian relief agencies deal with a sharp rise in people reaching out for help. Advocates have warned of an emerging humanitarian crisis as those who've lost work and can't access any welfare reach out. James Hancock reports. Susan DeHaal and her husband are used to adversity. The pandemic, though, has made life especially hard for the Nepalese asylum seekers and their two Australian-born children. I'm worried for tomorrow, how we're going to pay rent, how we're going to survive. The four of them are scraping by on a $200 a week family tax benefit after Susan lost her casual childcare work and her husband's Uber driving jobs all but dried up. Susan fears becoming homeless, but for now the charity Rural Australians for Refugees at Ballarat in Western Victoria is covering the rent. There is many family in Ballarat who they are helping. The family used to live at Dandenong in Melbourne's southeast, where the council has set aside more than $300,000 to feed the needy. The area's many asylum seekers on temporary visas do not qualify for job seeker or job keeper payments. A number of them also can't access any social security money or the Medicare system. And even if they could get a job, some visa categories lack work rights. People are in absolutely desperate circumstances and I think a tenfold increase in demand for this particular cohort of people. Up to seven tonnes of food a week is being picked up by charities from this makeshift warehouse at the Springvale City Hall. The unemployment numbers are pre-COVID were double metro average. They've gone even higher. It's the same desperate situation here at Footscray in the city's west. Donations are being collected from individuals, businesses, growers and food banks ready to be urgently distributed. The Asylum Seeker Resource Centre says it's already had 850 new presentations this year from people in crisis. There's essentially been a, a tripling of demand in, in, um, at the Asylum Seeker Resource Centre. Community health service CoHealth is also under pressure providing free care. Refugee and asylum seekers who were no longer needing CoHealth services, and we've seen a 40% return of this client group. To reach as many people as possible, the organisation has been creating videos in a variety of languages about the coronavirus. People are developing stress or other kinds of mental health issues. Basic things like food, housing, uh, pharmaceuticals, healthcare, um, all people should be able to access that. James Hancock, ABC News, Melbourne.